So I started the season with Fist of the Heavens Paladin for the first time ever. So then of course, I had to kind of discover where are actually the best places to farm with this particular build. So that's what I'm going over today. The best areas to farm with the Fist of the Heavens Paladin. Some of them are kind of the obvious and known, but some of them are kind of off the beaten path and I kind of discovered myself. They're actually absolutely amazing. Now we're doing this list from the beginning of the game to the end of the game. So here in act one, where are the best places to farm with the Fist of the Heavens Paladin? And here we have arrived. Actually, the Forgotten Tower is great for this character. Now, usually you'd want to be using what? Like a Nova Sorceress is probably my go-to, but actually for Fist of the Heavens Paladin, everything down here is undead or demons. Now, even before you have Enigma, you can just go ahead and use the charge skill and actually get around quite quick down here. So all you have to do, if you didn't know, you just turn left and you can just charge around until you get to the next area. But I always, always, always take out champion packs along the way. Quite often I get like a high rune or maybe even just mid runes from down here. Or maybe you get your first initial spirit, your uh, monarch base, taking out monsters on the way. And of course, make sure you have that telly staff on hand to go ahead and jump walls when needed. And when you're down to the final level, the Countess is actually demon and all of her minions are as well. So you have really not much problem at all taking them out. And of course you get the runes and hopefully keys. And I don't mean this key right here. Next up, once again, we're following in the tracks of the Nova Sorceress. And actually the Arcane Sanctuary is actually a great spot to farm with the Fist of the Heavens Paladin. Once again, we have ghosts. I mean, if you didn't know, ghosts are actually undead, obviously. And then, of course, we have the goat men out here, and then we have the ghoul lords, both demons and undead, respectfully. So it is once again another place where everything out here is undead or demon. You can take literally everything out. The same reason this is a good area for farming with the Nova Sorceress is the same reason that it's good for the Fist of the Heavens Paladin. On top of that, you can drop them from distance across the gaps like this. They can't even get to you to attack, and you can actually take them out. Once again, this would be a spot where make sure you have your telly staff on point so that you can go ahead and jump gaps when needed and then once again just like the countess you can come out here and you have a little special guest at the end we actually have the summoner you can go ahead and drop fists of heavens on him but actually i feel like it kills much faster when i use my one point into smite and just go ahead and slap him down and you're hoping to get another key from him that you can go ahead and go uh, trade to somebody so they can farm up their torches the next spot is one that i believe is slept on and that is out here the flare jungle now, the thing is, is the density out here is a lot of times very good. So you look at all these suckers running around. These are, of course, demons, and they're incredibly weak, incredibly easy to take out. Of course, now also, when you have these uh, killer shamans, you actually get a double kill. He went down, and then he has this little secondary monster that comes out, and you go and take him out again. So it's almost like having an item find barb when you're specifically out here farming in the flare jungle. Now, of course, it's going to be even better when terrorized. Now, because of the density, you can definitely, um, it's a good spot for finding high runes. If you have low magic find, it's going to be a great spot for finding bases. But well, once again, just because of the density, the number of monsters that are actually out here, kind of in a close area. Here is a good example. Take him out. Ooh, drop unique. And then you actually get another champion right there once again. Essentially, like you have the item find skill here on the Paladin, but of course, you're not a Barbarian. So if you're Fist of the Heavens, don't sleep on the Flayer Jungle, especially if it is terrorized. Next up could be tough early on, but hey, we're out here at Trav. Now, obviously, the council is 100% demons. These guys are not, so you got to watch out. This can be incredibly dangerous. I'm not going to lie. The thing is, it's right next to the waypoint. It's very easy to get to. And I mean, let's say you do die. Just reset, go to another game and try again. Now, if you are lower level, you might have to lure them away, lure them over here and kind of take them on one by one. You may have to do that. Once you get better gear, you get some stuff that kind of has some fire absorb. You can go ahead and take them on full place. But everyone knows Trav is known for high runes and, of course, for its jewelry. So make sure you go ahead and farm Trav if you are using the Fist of Heavens Paladin. Good old Tal's Bell right there. Not too bad of a find. And, of course, I guess don't sleep on that gold if you do love, perhaps, gambling. Well, here's the most obvious, the most well-known, and it's not going to surprise many people. Use your telly staff, get yourself into the Chaos Sanctuary, and bam, this is probably the best, if not one of the best anyways, places to farm with the Fist of the Heavens Paladin. Everything 100% in here, undead and demons. These are technically ghosts. These Stormcasters have a higher chance of dropping high runes. 
there's great density you get great experience in the cast sanctuary like relative to other places so this is not really surprising like i said to anyone you cannot sleep on the cast sanctuary with that fist of the heavens paladin when you get to the complete maxed out you know full uh charms in your inventory torch any pally combat stuff like that in my opinion the fist of heavens paladin might be a better cast sanctuary farmer than even the hammered in straight up great thing you can even take out any of the act bosses with this as well if you want to go after terrorize and darla you could but specifically diablo here he is indeed a demon you can take him down without too much of a problem now moving on to act five i don't know if you knew this but actually pindle is undead so you can come out here drop bombs with fist of heavens from deep not worrying about getting hit at all and go ahead and take him out no problem you could spam farm him just incredibly, incredibly quick. And of course, most people know you can find every single unique in the game from Pindle, with the exception of just three items. And next up, if you wanna get some experience, you're running with other people or whatever, bail running is actually great with the Fists of Heaven's Paladin. This wave, of course, we've got demons. Wave two, of course, is all undead. And actually, even though this says immune to magic damage, apparently not this type of magic damage, I guess, because you don't fall into the same problem with the hammers on the Hammerden, actually with Blessed Aim and the Fists of the Heavens, the Holy Bolts that come out, no problem with Wave 2. Of course, Wave 3 here are the Council, so you can go ahead and take these demons out without much problem. Of course, now, these are definitely an entire wave of demons right here, taking them out without any problem, really, once again. And then Lister, once again, of course, demons, they are powerful, but hey, so are you, right? You're a Fist of the Heavens Paladin. So just go ahead and stay back. Blast, 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 and you can take him out pretty much no problem. And then we've got Bale. Once again, no shocker, also a demon. Not the fastest Bale killer of all time, but he's not really that tough anyways, am I right? Just takes a minute. You could go ahead and skip him too if you really wanted to, if you're just spamming for that experience. Down he goes. We ain't quite done though. I'm going to give you a few bonus ones here of areas that I love farming, but only when they are terrorized. Now, I'm a big fan of easy, and look at these demons out here, all these little carvers. There's all these different carver encampments. When terrorized, go ahead and take this out. If they're high level, you get tons of experience, and they can drop every single item in the game when terrorized. Like I said, if you're a high enough level, meaning their level would be high enough. The thing is, too, is they're almost exclusively demons out here. There are, I believe, are they bats or crows or something that are not undead out here? They're incredibly weak. Usually any mercenary can go ahead and take them out, or just go ahead and skip them. Skeletons, super easy, super slow. Zombies, super easy, super slow. And then, of course, you get the bonus of Rock and Ishu right here as well, every single time you're in the Stony Tombs. And hey, we'll jump into the next one here, Tristram. All undead and demon out here, 100% of the time. So, you know you can definitely come out here and clear this out. It's incredibly easy. I would recommend, though, skip um, Griswold right here. This is a very good uh, Fist of Heaven's Paladin. Look how slow it is, and also, he never drops anything good, pretty much ever. So I would just skip him and take everything else out. Great spot for the budget early on. And another place here, Act 1. Here we are once again. This is the Black Marsh. So a lot of these above ground Act 1 areas I do absolutely love because obviously Act 1 is going to be one of the easier spots in the game. But when you are actually in a terrorized zone, it sets the level to your level or there is like a minimum amount that it would be, which would be the normal area level. So... If you're a little bit higher, if you're like in your low to mid 80s, this is pretty much an 85 area, bam, right off the bat. Not to mention, I a lot of times would clear it while I'm searching for the Forgotten Tower. Might as well kill monsters along the way, right? Now, these are my favorite places to farm with Fists of Heaven's Paladin. Let me know any that you know about or other places you like doing down in the comments, like button and subscribe up before you go if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you in the next video.